Welcome to Living Life with Purpose. I'm your host, Phil Foster. Well, you know, Proverbs chapter 29, the Bible says that without vision, the people perish. I just want to talk to you for just a minute today about keeping your vision fresh and keeping your vision alive. Those times when you got alone with God and God spoke to your heart, stirred you to do something for the kingdom, or maybe God, you feel like God led you to go somewhere and, and maybe start a new profession or start a new job or whatever, and you get into it a few weeks, months, years into it, and it's not as flashy, it's not as exciting as it used to be. It hasn't, it's been filled with challenges, struggles, difficulties. And sometimes it's easy just to say, you know, oh, you know, I'm just wasting my time, I'm spinning my wheels. But I want to encourage you to keep on doing what God's called you to do. In Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2, it says to write the vision down on tablets and carry them. And I just want to encourage you to sometimes take a moment and stop and remember what brought you to where you are today. What did the Lord speak to you? You know, there's going to be different people that are going to try to steal your dream, your vision. Uh, the devil will try that. He'll try to get you so discouraged that you throw in the towel, put up the white flag of surrender. Uh, if Maybe you're trying to build a great work for God, a church, and it's been hard going. You're having a hard time reaching souls for Christ. Well, don't give up. The you know, next one could be the one that is a game changer that turns everything around. Uh, there's going to be people, maybe close associates, that will try to get you off the beaten path. Uh, it's nice to have input from people, but just remember, it's the Lord who called you. It's the Lord that placed you. So stay put. Keep on doing the plain things, the main things, and one day, I believe, when you get to the other side, you're going to hear the Lord say, hey, thanks for keeping on and doing a great work for the kingdom. Well, look, I'm all out of time. I hope this has been a little bit of an inspiration for you today. So until we get together tomorrow, may God bless you, and hey, have a great day.